We're here to talk about a biological machine that you might know as the goat. And so they call you the goat whisperer, yeah? <laughs> Instead of the lawnmower, I, I'm helping the environment. I use animals. I use goats. What, what's behind us and what's this land? Like, what are we? Where are we? We're actually in a, a landfill of Hunters Point, a shipyard, uh, more up the port of San Francisco. And they can't use uh, lawnmowers and stuff back here because this is landfill. I guess the port had hired a guy to, to graze the land here, and the goats had got out. And I mean, 500 goats were out. And, uh, I heard him back in, and the boss was so amazed at what I'd done. He said, wow, man, it seems like you have a touch for that. What are the things that you're worried about uh, happening to your goats? Well, the main thing is like dog attacks. You know, it's like Oreo is very attached to dogs. Sometimes Oreo thinks she's a dog, you know? <laughs> and uh, sometimes that could be dangerous for her. You know, I caught a lot of kids, you know, trying to do things like steal the baby goats. But uh, most of anything, it's, uh, it's the dogs. So, like, how many, how many acres can they do? I mean, just... We're out here, in, uh, right here where we're at in the 100 Cargo Way, this is like nine acres, and they can do this in probably a month. Well, what's the process? So I, I call you up and I'm like, hello, David, go whisper, I need a goat. And then you're just, it just shows up at my house, or I come pick it up down here and put it in a minivan, and it's like, what happens? Well, what happens, I would come out to the, where you, where you uh, want the goats to be. I would check the, check the grounds, make sure there's nothing dangerous for the goats. I would fence the place, put up electric fence, portable electric fence, where the goats can stay in and people can stay out and uh, let them do their job. <laughs> yeah. Next week, for example, you're doing a, a job up in the Presidio. Uh, why wouldn't those people just, you know, get a lawnmower or get a landscaping service? Well, it's because uh, it's poison oak. <laughs> they go in and they mow it. It's one of their favorites, <laughs> you know, without bringing them home or anything. So how many, how many goats are you bringing out to the We're actually going to bring 10 out in the morning and come back and bring, bring them back in and bring them out every morning for about a week. It's safe and, and they get the job done and then they teach people that animals, even from the country, can live in the city. <laughs> the mo it's, a, it's very rewarding like, for us, the kids, like we went up to the school, the kids had never seen goats, and yeah. especially the ones from the rougher areas of town. Yeah. So I, I get like a, a real feedback from it that's real positive.